Right guys, so in case it wasn't already clear, we're going to be doing uh, your curriculum. These classes are significantly shorter than your regular um, Monday, Thursday and Saturday sessions, okay? They're gonna be a little bit shorter because we're just focusing on what you need for the curriculum. So there's no tests on this kick or that kick or hand techniques and things. It's literally just the forms that we're looking at, okay? So your form this time is Universal 6, um, so, Tyler, yeah, you know what you're doing. So when I'm watching you, I'm actually gonna be asking you to do the whole thing. Six and seven, yep, cool. Just so we're very clear on that. Right, so let's get ourselves warmed up, guys. Ready, we're doing a clean space. Ah, facing forward, check, and bow. So let's start, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and press up position, shoulders up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stay in press up position, 10 press, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And your feet start on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, on to your backs, guys. Go away, raise it to the ceiling, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stay in there, singles, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start up. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And punch jumps, guys. Use your arms to throw it over here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. Legs out now, out shoulder weight. Moving straight out to the floor. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put those hands left. Three, two, one. Change the side. Three, two, one. Hold each ankle. Pull your body forwards. Three. Two, one, and relax. Box this, guys. Take your legs out as wide as you can. If you're wearing socks, that's okay during stretching because it can help your legs go a little bit further. But when we start doing kicks and forms and such, do make sure that you take them off because they make things very slippy. And they make things slippy in here on these mats. If you slip and fall and hurt yourself on these mats, you're definitely going to slip and fall and hurt yourself at home. So make sure you take your socks off. If you've got them on, guys, after the stretching, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, pick a leg, put it out in front. Now reach down to those toes and get both hands down. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Change to the other side. Ready? Put hands down. Go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet together. Butterfly stretch. Holding up to your toes and stretching down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax there, guys. Shake your legs. Make sure they're nice and loose. And we're just going to get right into it. So, here's what I would like you to do. Phase threes in the room. While I'm just quickly going through Talon's form, just on the spot, I want you to just practice any kick that you wish to practice, okay? Anything you think needs work, anything you really love doing, you just want me to practice that, okay? Nice job there, uh, Luke. So guys, you practice that, 
I'm only going to be about two minutes, it won't take me long, but whilst you're waiting, that's all I have to do. Okay, Talon, are you ready? So this is mainly for you. Faces forward, turn, and bow, to me. Okay, from here, move number one, look left, look right, look left. Back fist, good, from there, punch. Are you in that position? Number three, reset position back to here, and back fist. Then go back the way you came, and add a punch. Good, very nice one. So again, ready, ready? Go, left, right, left, and back fist. That's number one. Number two, number three, number four, and number five, you reset, look right, look left, look right, and go back fist to the other side. Good, from that position, punch. From there, pull it back to seven, back fist. And then from there, step out, eight, and that punch. Good, ready? Pull, uh, just that again, ready? So go from there, five, Right, left, right, step out, back fist, six, punch, seven, pull it back, back fist, eight, step out, and add that punch or uh, 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 move right. Number nine, take this leg behind you, from your hip, X block, and then go down. So you're going like, that and taking your arms down for number 10. That's a good time. So, you ready, Talon? For me? Right, I'm just watching you now. So, what's number one? Which way are we going first? Good. What's number two? Excellent. Three. Good. Four. Fantastic. Five. Reset and go. Going that way this time, aren't you? Going that way. That's it. Go six, seven, eight, and what's the move? So seven is that back fist. So seven, you here, and then eight, you step out again and add that punch. Good. So I only want you to focus, which hand are you punching with there actually? Should be your other hand punching. There we go, good. Yeah, so this is back fist there, punch with the other hand. That's it, okay. So I just want you to worry about those eight moves, Talon. Okay, so you just worry about those eight. Okay, don't worry about nine and ten, don't worry about the X and the down. We're covering that next week, okay? So just worry about the first eight. So we'll do that one more time. Ready for B? Very, very quickly. Number one, going that way. Good. Two. Excellent. Three. Reset and four. Sorry, hang on. Three is the back fist. I'm confusing you with my language, my bad. Okay, what's number four from there? Going that way still, where we're going. Just on a back fist, you're going to step out and add that punch, good. Then you reset, and now you're going that way. Go, five, good, six, brilliant. Seven, and eight. Fantastic, good. So tell him, you just focus on that, all right? Rowan has also done the exact same curriculum as you, because you're on the same class now. So if you need help, you can ask him. If he needs help, you can work together, okay? So you practice that now, okay? Uh, you log off uh, this uh, tablet and, uh, or whatever device you're using, and I, I'll move on to the phase three curriculum now. All right, see you time. Okay, phase threes. Here we go. So, universal six. Some of you, may be quite, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Adept at this form, considering you've probably been doing it about, about six months now, looking at you, Tyler. Um, some of you, this may be brand new, but nevertheless, whatever your level, I want you all to go at the same speed as me. So we're just focusing on the first section, section one today. Okay. And just so you're uh, clear, guys, so I'm clear, I'm facing this way so that you can see my arms and my legs a little bit better. But realistically, I am facing the back, okay? So, from here, jump in. 
Ready? Movement one, your left leg steps forward and going to do a reverse chop with your left hand. Excellent job. Number two, hand at your hip, punches out. And number three, you're going to do a low chop with the same hand, okay? You've done calm set, guys, recently. This looks awfully familiar, okay? And again, ready? From here, step forward, left leg, reverse chop. Number two, add that punch. Now, obviously, guys, we're in phase three, so we're expecting some degree of expertise and uh, technique. So don't forget, when you're doing this low chop, don't just sort of let one arm do the work. Your other arm gets involved. That arm pulls back as you go down to add that power, okay? So don't just sort of get used to going one, two, three. You've got to make sure you show the preparations, okay? So one more time, show those preparations. Number one, reverse chop. Number two, add that punch. Number three, pull back, low chop. Four and five, back leg, front kick, one step front kick. Go, kick, one step kick. And number six, into uh, X stance with a twin low open hand block. Okay? So you're in that stance, sorry, there, going down there. All right? Two things you've got must remember about this X stance, guys. Number one, your left leg goes behind. You do not know which leg that is at the time. It is the leg you're just not used to kick with, okay? Secondly, an X stance is not this. This is not an X stance. This is I'm about to fall over stance. An X stance, you must bend your knees to allow that stance to sink into the floor. So don't just try and keep your legs straight guys, you're gonna find it hard. Just bend those knees. Right. One more time, nice and strong. Ready for me? And go. One, chop out. Make sure you're aiming to the throat, guys. This target area is key now. This is technically a black belt form. You will perform this on black belt grading day. So we want to see that you know where you're hitting. So reverse chop to the throat or to the neck, punch to the body. Pull back, low chop, kick above the midsection, kick, one step, kick, X stance and low. Right, so it is relatively easy, guys. There are so many of you in the room who um, will know this, okay? So here's what I would like to do. Get in. I'm gonna watch you first on just those six moves. Are you ready? Off you go, see ya. Yeah, brilliant. Spot on. Now, I understand, obviously, guys, some of you may struggle with the space that you are in to do a true, genuine one step to cover that distance, okay? So I understand that you've got that limitation, but uh, do obviously try and make sure you've got, uh, or you really keep that in mind that when you do this form, you really want to cover as much ground as possible, okay? Right, Zara, I'm watching you now. Ready? Off you go. Brilliant job. Excellent. Right. You guys now, Gethin and Zara, on the spot, I want you to practice spin turning kicks. Okay? Mainly with the right leg, but also cover the left as well. Okay? If it's easy, I want you to do three back to back. Okay? So spin, hop, spin, turn, spin, turn, spin, turn. Okay? So that's easy for you. Luke, Tyler, and um, Nathalie, I won't say Nathalie, it's not Nathalie, Alice, because the name is uh, Nathalie on the, on the board. Um, we're going to go through Universal 6 in its entirety. <laughs> okay, because you know what we're doing. So, I'm not going to do it, you're going to do it. All of Universal 6 in your own time. Are you ready? Put your hand up actually very quickly before we start if you actually do need my help on Universal 6. Okay, that's fine. Right, so I will do it with you guys, but if you do know it, go through it in your own time. Ready? Universal 6 in its entirety. You ready? From there. Go. Number one, chop. Two, punch, three, down. Just on this, four, five, and six. Okay? From there now, 
But I'm just here, I'm going to unwrap myself and go this way, okay? So we're in that guard. Back fist, step out, punch, slide up to the chop, step out, punch, and now front leg, turning kick, so step up and turn. Ready? In that guard, same again, back fist, step out, punch, coming up, chop, step out, punch, turning kick, land it in that all firing stance, okay? Yes. So from there, look left, look right, come up and chop to the back of the room. Chamber and side kick, jump around into that position, step out, single leg, that's it. Change the long stance punch, and now it is turning kick, spin turning kick, spin turning kick combat. Turning kick, spin turning, spin turning. Okay, good. So, guys, I'm going to split this one in half, okay? So for the likes of Geth and Zara, I intend to keep helping you guys out, okay? So I'm going to go through a bit more of the curriculum you need for um, those who are just starting this form, and then I'm going to ask you guys to break off so that I can focus on those who are at the black belt uh, cusp, okay? So, Luke, Tyler, and Alice, you guys can absolutely join in with what I'm about to ask Geth and Zara to do. But just keep in mind, I will be coming back to the form for you guys. All right? So, into a guard, guys. Okay? From there, on the spot, or as best as you can, I want you to work with one step side kicks. Okay? So, kick your legs in front, step on it, side kick. Three step position, change stance, one step side kick. Off you go. So, one step side kicks, guys. Right leg and left leg. Good. Now, what I want you to get, I want you to focus on this chamber extension, guys, but also this height. Get this kick above your belt. Okay, nice and high. Good. Excellent job. Five, four, three, two, and one. And so, guard, guys, reverse turning kicks on the spot. If you can, do two back to back. So, land out of one and go straight into it. Make sure you start after two. I've asked for a combination of two kicks, pause it, lock it, carry on. That's what you're looking for. That's it. Keep it going. Very nice, Tyler. Excellent job. So again, make sure you understand what a reverse and a spin difference is, okay? Spin, your kicking leg is in front, you go round the back, you lift and you kick. In reverse, your kicking leg is behind you. You still go around, only this time, that leg lifts and hooks through. Okay, so make sure, guys, if we've asked you for a reverse, you want to see that reverse, okay? A couple more seconds, three, two, one. Last one now, guys, into a guard. This one may be a bit hard for yourself, Gethin and uh, Zara, but nevertheless, do your best. I want you to try and do a counter kick. And if you have the space, do two back to back. So guys, in other words, counter for a snap. But yeah, step back, kick, step back, kick, and then reset. Yeah, so step back, kick with it, step back, kick with it. That's what you're going for, guys. So counter, just counter for a snap kicks from now. There are other counter kicks, but I just want you to focus on that. This is the last, this is the last 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Right, okay, so, get in, Zara. Like I say, these classes are gonna be shorter, so that's pretty much it, okay? Tyler, Luke, and uh, Alice, stick around. All right, I'm gonna go through your form a couple more times to help you guys out, okay? Because we're literally at the opposite ends of the spectrum. We've got those who are just coming into this form versus those who know it. Uh, off by heart. So it's difficult for me to try and balance both. So I'm just going to say to Gethin and Zara, keep practicing those six moves that they've done. By now, they should be easy for you. Reverse chop, punch, look, yeah, you know what you're doing, okay? You did it in base two. So just keep practicing that. And then next Wednesday, we'll go through more. And every Wednesday, we'll just keep going through a bit more of the form, okay? So keep practicing that, guys. Uh, keep on top of it. Everything will be alerted to the Facebook page if you need it. So I'll see you guys there. You break off now. 
and Tyler and Luke and Alice, this is for you guys now, right? So universal six first, all of the whole thing, okay? If you, if, yeah, if you know it, go through it in your own time. Uh, I'm really just doing this just in case you're not sure. So I will do it to stop confusion by doing this way. Ready, Jimmy? Universal six, go. One, step out, reverse shot. Two, add that punch. Three, low shot. Back leg, four, one step, five, into six, down, unwrap. Back fist, going this way. Ready? Step wider, and punch. From there, coming off, chop, step out again, punch, stepping up, and turning kick. Landing your guard. From there, backwards, is that the same combination going the other way? Step out, punch, step up, chop, step out again, punch, and then I'm turning into the back leg this time to land in four seconds. Look. Look left, look right, come up, chop. This is your target now, chamber, and kick. Jump into this, take the stance on the other side, back stance, swing on line, change the long stance, punch, turn, kick, spin, turn, and kick, spin, turn, and kick. Good. And is that still, yeah, is Tyler still? Okay, good. Right. Now Universal 7 in its entirety, guys, okay? Because you're all at the uh, cusp of black belt, which means that you should um, be uh, able to do this. So, uh, now, yes. So, you're starting this position, this is where you land with So you finish the Universal 6. From there, one, punch down. Two, three, four, five, and six to here. Seven, back fist. Eight, step forward and punch. Nine, tuck this back leg behind, and back fist to the nose. 10, unwrap, and back fist. Then 11, step wider and punch. Back leg, 12, at that turn kick. Landed, 13, step back, back to the single line, 14. Step back, back to the single line. 15, shuffle, axe kick, grab, pull down, punch to finish. Pull into the guard, pull the legs up, axe kick down, shuffle, axe kick for 20, down, 21. Look left, look right, look left. 22, 23 is that back fist, 24 at that punch. 25, 10, okay? On landing eyes, back stand, wide open block. Next right one, reverse shot two, and back punch three. Back leg, turn kick. Now we're into your level zone part two, guys. Over your left shoulder, reverse. Set yourself, then move. Go, reverse. Set yourself, then move. Go. Reverse, set yourself, then move one more time. Reverse, all the way around, punch down. Second punch, come up, slip line next strike. Kick, one step kick, into an X stance, twin low. Step to the left, punch to the right. Step to the right, punch to the left. Next strike with the right, next strike with the left. And then a little bit of time to go. Excellent job. Right, guys, unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to leave it there because we are out of time, okay? So, effectively, actually, Tyler, uh, Alice, and Luke, this curriculum is, well, is not new for you, okay? It's Universal 6, which is the beginning, and there is still a benefit for you coming to these classes. But it's a case of you practicing what you know and just making it strong, okay? So you're absolutely welcome to come in, but it's not necessarily going to be um, learning new things, okay? It can be a way to keep on top of your training, um, so it is useful. Like I say, if you're feeling confident with this form, 
just keep practicing, okay? We will be doing private one-to-one -one sessions again once we're past this curriculum. We'll be doing these every Wednesday, basically, for the next uh, few weeks, pretty much until like near the end of May. So we'll be doing these uh, curriculum sessions that time, in that time. After that, if you need help on the form, we can do the one-to-one. -one. Otherwise, you're very welcome to come to these sessions uh, to keep on top of your form that way, okay? Well, other than that, guys, make sure you keep practicing, no matter whether it's six moves or the entirety of two forms, okay? You must keep practicing, okay? Those of you who are at the very uh, doorstep of flat belt, quick word of warning, I know Mrs. Platt intends to grade you as soon as possible when we come back, okay? So it could very well be that the doors are open and then it's, you get a week of training and then you're grading, <laughs> okay? So you might wanna keep on top of your form, guys, because Mrs. Flat is just gonna get, hit the ground running with you. So make sure you keep practicing those forms. If you do need help, I'm here for you. Other than that, guys, we are out of time, so I'll have to let you go there. Right, see you next time, guys. Bye.